house speed is indeed still in the lead. It's been a one shot lead the whole way. It is again. Here he is on Saturday playing alongside Patrick Reed and it's Reed at the fourth out of the rough. Well, the fourth is a, a long enough hole right at 500 yards, but today was playing into the wind. And Patrick Reed hit an awful drive sort of uh, in the left rough and went from rough to rough and it even got a little worse than that because coming out on his third shot over the back of this green, he was uh, staring double bogey right in the face. And so it would be a double bogey, Brandel, and uh, we could kind of cross Patrick's name off the list for today anyways. What about Spieth here at the sixth? Well, special shot right here. Watch this, and you can see how much it meant to him. A high, hard five with Michael Greller. Now it's seven, the irons you've loved all year, Brandel. Well, that's right. He didn't hit that many drivers today. This is one of the few ones that he did hit. He found the fairway, put himself in a great position uh, down the left side, which gave him a great angle to this back right hole location. And well, the stats were certainly true and spot on. He's the best iron player on the PGA Tour. After bogey at nine, back at it at 10. Another three wood off the tee, Brandel. Perfect position, great angle coming into this flag stick, and a great result. Jordan Spieth has been an exceptional front runner over the years. He's converted seven of his last 54 hole leads. Would he be able to get there again? Here he's at 11. Well, there's 85 players that made the second round cut here at the Travelers, and one player managed to birdie number 10 and number 11 today. Just one. That man right there, thanks to back-to-back -back stellar iron shots. Sticks it to four feet, now at 13, looking to continue the solid play. What happens here, Billy? Well, going with three wood once again, usually very reliable with this club, but loses it to the right. Lost a driver left yesterday out of bounds in the hazard today. Oh, boy, that, that hole has really cost him this week, he would make his first of consecutive bogeys. Drops back to nine under, back at a time for the lead. Here he is at 15 from the bunker. Just before he took it back, Billy looks at me and he goes, you'll probably hold this. And, well, you were wrong, Billy. You were <laughs> way wrong. He had to tap it in from a I'll couple inches away. But for me, that was the best shot of the day. I <laughs> mean, that was pretty special. And boy, it seemed to really give him some momentum. Here he is at 16. Well, you can see the smile on his face coming off the green. There was a little bit of a relief did not even watch the result of this shot at the 16th of par three. Beautiful shot right up underneath the hole would make birdie. A five foot birdie back to 11 under. Not a great tee shot at 18. Left bunker, beautiful bunker shot, 20 feet away, hook and putt. And just like that, he is atop the leaderboard all by himself. Look at that crowd behind him. That was the longest putt he would make of Saturday. It came at 18, a 32 on the way out. And now Jordan Spieth seeking his second career wire-to-wire -wire PGA Tour win. The other came in the 2015 Masters. As we said, no player's ever done it here at this golf course. And get this, only one player has won in their uh, debut of the Travelers. That was Phil Blackmar in 85. So Jordan Spieth looking for a whole bunch of firsts on Sunday. He spoke with Chantel McCabe. Jordan, what is it like to roll in a 20-foot putt to end a round with solo lead? Really fun here. I mean, this is a rowdy crowd on a Saturday afternoon. It was a long day, uh, five and a half hour round uh, to come up the last. You know, it's in the shadow. I, you know, I'm looking to hit the putt with the right speed. If it goes in, great. If it doesn't, uh, so be it. Tap it in. With a few feet to go, it, it was going to have a chance, and it curled right in the middle. That was a loud roar. I mean, those are really fun to experience. You normally get a couple chances a week um, to experience, you know, good weather on an afternoon on the last couple holes in, in that kind of setting. Uh, it was awesome to take advantage of that. You go again 13, 14. You gave yourself a little pep talk saying, please play golf. On 15, the shot out of the bunker, you almost eagled that hole. How did that all play out? Yeah, I just, you know, I, Everything was fine. I, I had a little kind of just quick swing on 13 tee box, but 14 I was playing fine. I just hit the wrong club into the green. I was swinging at it okay, and then I bailed out there on, on 15 and thought, man, I, I mean, I'm at one under right now in a tough spot, uh, and I feel like I'm, I, I'm striking the ball and I should be five or six under. So uh, fortunately, we were able to close out with three out of four birdies. Um, that shot was a big time uh, propeller for the last few holes in the, in the, in the shots that I hit. Uh, stepped up to 16 a lot more confidently than I may have if I had made par or even bogey on, on 15. So um, it's amazing what you know, one shot can do out of trouble. Uh, but you know, tomorrow, looking for a little more stress-free. 
Remarkably, yesterday you talked about getting two aside. You did exactly that in your own kind of way. Yeah, What's sure. the plan for tomorrow? Yeah, same. I thought uh, that was a good goal to try and make two birdies aside for the last four nines. Um, you know, with no bogeys, uh, obviously there's going to be mistakes within 36 holes. Limiting them uh, and maybe grabbing an extra one or two uh, is the goal. Tomorrow, uh, you know, it, it hasn't, it doesn't change. I think, you know, somewhere around 16 is, is, is a number that I was looking at after yesterday's round and what we were looking at at really the beginning of the week. So it's going to be really good conditions tomorrow. Expect some guys to make some birdies and, and, and make a run. Boo and, and, uh, and Berger. Uh, are two guys who are not afraid to go low on Sundays. They both historically have done that. So um, we've got a tough gig ahead.